Hi, this is a video and what they call a three-in-one selfie stick. But what I normally generally call tripod selfie sticks. Now, this is from a company called JT Web, and it is similar to JP, JT Web's other product, the Magic Pipe. Um, this one is called the Magic Rim Tripod Selfie Stick. It works with iOS and Android. It is Bluetooth and made of aluminium construction. As you can see on the front here, it holds your mobile phone, so it's designed to hold smartphones. It has a Bluetooth uh, shutter button, which is separate from the unit, can be removed, and also has feet. As we go around the box, we have nothing on that side. On the back, we have a, I'll try and hold it to the camera, but basically we have an operation guide just um, a diagram showing you the basic operation setup of this selfie stick, tripod selfie stick. Here it comes in three colors, which is a red, a gold, and a silver. And at the bottom here, we have the product details. I'll try and get them into focus if I can. And what it is, it is 200 grams. It's collapsible to approximately 198 millimeters. It's extendable to 740 millimeters. Um, rod material is aluminium. The battery capacity of the shutter button is 60 milliamps. The product size is 32 by 32 by 198 millimeters, and the connection method is Bluetooth. On the other side, we have nothing, and we go back to the front. In the box, as you can see, we have the selfie stick itself. We have a micro USB to USB cable which is, take it out, fold it up. My, my guess is it's about six inches long. It's not a very long cable. And we have a instruction booklet that is in several different languages. Now we have here the selfie stick. And as you can see, it is similar to the other selfie stick, the Magic Pipe. Same kind of construction, all aluminium, only plastic at the bottom and at the top. But on this occasion, instead of the shutter butter being integrated into the um, selfie stick itself, it is a separate shutter button. So what you do to release this shutter button is to pull this button down, not press it in, but to slide it down that loosens a release in there and the shutter button comes out. Now, just before we go on with the selfie stick, I'll go on with the shutter button first. Now the shutter button here has a 60 milliamp battery inside. It is chargeable by micro USB. Now I find that charging this for about 45 minutes tends to fill it up. It will charge as red. When it requires charging, this light will be red. And when it is finished charging, it will go to green. And if you just leave it longer than that, it will switch itself off from charge. The setup to your smartphone here is very much the same. Um, your smartphone, you put it onto Bluetooth in settings, enable Bluetooth in settings, discover if it's in an Android or in iOS, just leave it on. Keep your finger down on the shutter button 
for five seconds to 10 seconds. This will flash um, green quite quickly. On your phone here, it will come up uh, as JT Web. Click that. Once you click that, it will ask to pair. And you just simply press pair and this will connect and the green light will just flash slowly. Now, if you requires a number in pairing, it is simply four zeros. So you just key in four zeros if it requires a number. So as I says, the shutter button fits in here like so, snaps into place and that's it. We'll go around the actual unit itself. We have several grooves um, out at the top here. That's for help to pull the, mono, uh, the, the selfie stick out. We have a silver um, band around the middle. Obviously if this was red, this will be red and that will be red on the inside. And the same if it was gold, this will be in gold and it'd be gold on the inside. On the bottom here, we have a plastic cap and this hides the feet. It is a magnetic cap, so I'll take that off. The same grooving is around there and I'll take that off and it has a magnet in the bottom, which fits to this unit here to keep the cap on. There is a string here, so you don't lose the cap. And it just simply clips on like that. Now the feet of this um, selfie stick, you simply pull them out. They have rubber tips on the end. So when you pull them out, simple rubber tips. And they come straight out. And as you can see, they extend out a little bit more. So if you pull on the rubber tip, they extend out similar to a car aerial, to the old fashioned car aerials. So it's two sections make up the leg. And each leg at the top has a hinge. So they fold outwards at about, to me, 30 degrees. So if you place that down, it manages, it can sit down somewhat like that. To place, to retract the legs back in, same again, you fold them back straight, push on each leg and it folds into the selfie stick itself. That's it. And then place the cap on and that's it. And the cap is firmly on there due to the magnet. Okay, I'll show you how to extend this. You pull it on the top. And just before I fully extend it, I'll show you of, I'll show you the phone holder. Now the phone holder looks like that. And we have a rubber section here and a rubber section at the bottom here. Now, before I fully extend this, this rod, this selfie stick can hold your phone in a landscape, landscape position. That's its default setting is landscape, but it can also show your phone in portrait position. So you don't have to turn the whole selfie stick. You, if you don't want to, you can turn this to a portrait. Now, in landscape, obviously the phone is like that. To turn it to portrait, you're gonna to have to remove your phone. And I'll turn it to the side to actually show you. You push down on the top, hold, by holding this top unit here, push down on the top, and as you can see, that section now is in the middle and it's clear of this section here. You pull this that way slightly out, see, so it's like that. 
and then you turn at the same time as pulling, turn, and it's a bit stiff, <laughs> forgive me, it is really stiff. You turn, ah, that's it, you turn that way towards me, that's it, towards yourself. And now it is in a portrait position. Now this, just in case you're wondering how it's onto one side, this can now slide down into the center. And now you place your phone back on there. And it holds it in a portrait. As you can see, I'll take that off. And it's in a portrait position. Now, one thing I like with this particular selfie stick is, even though it's in portrait, because there is a little lip on there, it holds your phone in, in on there, so your phone won't slip out, even though the springs on here are quite tight and grips your phone quite tight, it holds your phone there. Now, it can take up to uh, iPhone uh, Pluses, because I have an iPhone 7 Plus and it fits in here with the case. So it can take your iPhone Pluses, it can take your notes, because my wife's got the latest note phone, and that fits in here the same way. You've just got to remember, when you are turning this to a, a portrait position, you have to remove your phone. The same if you're going to turn it back from portrait to landscape, you have to remove your phone. So you remove your phone, you bring this section to the top, almost to the top there, bring it out and over, so it's got to come up and over them and then that's it, it is now back into landscape. Now when I extend this out fully, between that point, between these two points of my fingers, it is 20 inches long, so this extends to 20 inches long. And when it is closed down, it is six and a half inches in length when it is totally closed down. Now, now I have got the shutter button here, and as you can see, there is a green light. I'll put it in my t-shirt there, it's black. There is a green light here to show that it's in operation and it's connected to the phone here. Now if I press the shutter button, it will take a picture of me and you should hear it. There, I've just took, because I've clicked the button twice, it's took two pictures. Now if I put it into video mode and press the shutter button, shutter button there, it's taking a video and to end the video, and that's it. So that's the shutter button. As I said, with this unit, it's a removable shutter button and it can be recharged. Now, I'm going to show you a distant shot of this to show you that uh, with the legs open, uh, with the legs open, uh, what it actually looks like uh, from floor standing. Now, obviously you can have this from floor standing or placed on a desk. So I'll show you how it looks. Now, I'm on the floor. <laughs> Sorry about me being on the floor. Um, I'm just showing you now, this is how it looks uh, from a floor stance um, up. And I'm gonna measure it uh, from the floor, obviously, to the top to give you an indication how tall this thing is. And I'll do it in the good old inches. It is 32 inches in height uh, from the floor. Now I am five foot six and I'm gonna stand up uh, just to show you to me how far it is. And I'll stand up here and it comes to my thigh on there. So this is how it looks um, when it's standing on its own feet. Now, um, because of the height of it, uh, I would say um, it all depends on, because of the height and the phone, just be careful in windy conditions, 
um, or breezy conditions, I would set it up and just be mindful that um, the wind could bl blow it over because even though um, the base here has got some weight to it, the phone may be slightly heavier than the base, so which makes this top heavy. Um, I'm indoors at the moment and I'm next to it and there doesn't appear to be any wobble. So, but on the outside, if there's a light breeze, it might tend to tip this over. Because personally, um, the way how they've set this up, I would have rather them to prefer to put a leg in front here and have the legs splayed that in that direction. But what they tend to have done is place legs on opposite sides where the camera is, which makes this part a bit loose. They should have really, if they were planning uh, on this building this, they should have placed a leg in front here to give it more stability. But that's how it is. And as you can see, um, as you can see, it's not very, it's not very tall, so it's good for indoor use and on tabletops. Okay, I'll show you now how to um, retract this selfie stick. Simply paste your palm of your hand on the top, palm of your hand on the bottom. Simply push from the top downwards. And as you can see, it folds in on itself. Now, once you get to there, don't force it. What happens is this mount has slightly come out. So all you do is just push on the back to get it back in. And then simply push down. And there it collapses in on itself. Now, um, what I think of this, my conclu conclusion of this selfie stick. I think it's a great selfie stick. Me personally, I prefer the, I prefer the other. Yes, yeah, so what I was saying about my conclusion of this, it's a great selfie stick, um, well worth the money, um, solid construction. I like how you can remove the shutter button. Um, and recharge it, that's no problem, so you don't have to bother with the battery with it. Um, it is suitable for men uh, and for women, but bear this in mind, for women, if you're bringing this for a night out or a special occasion, and depends what size bag, this will not fit in a very small bag, so bear that in mind, the magic pipe from this same company will, but this one, because it's thicker and longer, it won't, it won't fit into very small bags. So, as I says, um, it's well worth its money. Now, if you've got one of these, please let us know in the comment section down below um, what you think of it. I will leave on a link, which I've already done, I hope I've done already, uh, the magic pipe version of this, um, which is smaller, more slender, uh, which is suitable for men and women. Um, leave a comment about that one as well. Um, if you like this video, please like, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.